Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back. I am recovering after my dog passed away. And so uh, getting up and doing some videos and trying to get going again. And so apparently there's been a whole bunch of that going on this time of year. And I'm just one of the many, apparently, who has lost a puppy here recently. And her name was Pippa, and I have a whole video on that if you'd like to see that. And so, but today we're doing a uh, new makeup. And so today we're starting off with the Super Goop Glow Oil in the SPF 50. And then I did go ahead and get a new... Um, <clears throat> foundation. It's actually skin tint. It's a Revolution Skin Silk. I got mine in shade F2, and so it's definitely a cool color, um, definitely based on pink. This is kind of the way. So uh, this is without the skin tint. This is with it. And as far as what it's really similar to, uh, the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. Both of these skin tints have a lot of hyaluronic acid in them. And so um, the first couple of times that I went ahead and used this one, I went ahead and powdered right after I would put the foundation on. And then this is a glowish uh, powder by Huda. This one's in Fair. And so I would put on the uh, skin tint foundation and put this red on right afterwards. Uh, I got to the point where I really don't feel that I need to do that. So now I'm just going ahead putting this on, putting my regular products on, and then using this for finishing powder at the end, which is the way that I usually do my makeup. Um, but it did take me a couple of days, a couple of tries to get used to this before I felt comfortable enough to put the powder on at the end instead of at the beginning. And... Um, so, uh, just to let you know, as far as skin types, um, most of my adult life, I was really, really oily. I'm older now. I'm not as oily. Um, I have a T-zone that's still oily, but my cheeks are pretty normal at this point. So, uh, that's what I have on for my foundation. I did go ahead and use the ColourPop um, lip liner in Brink, and then I used the e.l.f. Uh, lip oil, and this one is the one in my jam, and so this is what I have on for my lip combo right now. As far as what I did for the bronzer, I got out the Koki Matte Bronzer. This one is in Sunlit Peach, so yes, it's supposed to be a little bit orange, and so <laughs> that's what I have on um, as far as my bronzer today. So it is a little bit orangey, and it's supposed to be a little bit orangey. Um, I did go ahead and use the Halo Glow, and I used Magic Hour, but it, well, oh, there it is. Okay, so I went ahead and used Magic Hour, which is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, Peach Gasm. And so that's what I have on as far as my blush today. I, Another new product that I got that I thought was just a lot of fun was the Revolution Bubble Balm. And so I do have that on um, as my highlighter today. It shows up really good on camera. It shows up as a wet highlighter. And um, it actually has little beads in it. So it's rose gold rose gold beads and uh, pearl beads in it. And you actually just use a finger or um, a brush and then you'll just go ahead and put it on like that and it's actually a very fun wet highlighter that i think i'm really starting to like a lot and so and it's also sort of a fun conversation starter as well and it's good to have a conversation starter that is actually a really good color as well as far as the usual suspects, I went ahead and used the Essence Thick and Wow and Caramel Blonde on the brows. Um, I did go ahead and pick up a new, this is the Essence Lash Primer. And so I did go ahead and use this today. Um, it has a turquoise, turquoise, it's kind of a white turquoise kind of color that it does when it, you put it on. Um, 
so it definitely doesn't go on black. And then as far as what I used for the actual mascara today, I used the Essence Volume Stylus, the 18 hour wear. So these are the two that I have on there. And then getting to the eyes, and I have to admit I had a lot of fun with this today. Um, I started with the Sweet As Can Be by ColourPop. This has come out. Uh, they've re-released it about three different times, and I didn't pick it up till this last time, but I'm planning to use it a lot during the summertime. And um, yeah, these are definitely all summer colors to me. And I have the terracotta um, in the crease today and then I have the burgundy on the outer corner and so I think that's all I did with this palette um, but then I had ordered from Loxy or Luxy L-O-O-X-I and you can order off of their website they just had a huge big sale their whole website sold out and they do a whole bunch of they have shimmers mattes and then their multi chromes they call it auroras and um, so I got a whole bunch of those I had done an original order for about five and they come in single shadows and then I did another order for about 11 or 12 so what I have on the inner corner here is going to be a shade that they call Margarita. And again, it's Margarita with an A-H-H-H-H-H at the end. Um, so that's what I have on the inner corner to about the midpoint. And with these, I did try going ahead and wetting them with a little bit of setting spray that did not work as well as just going ahead and packing them on with a finger that worked a lot better the other one that I have on is one that I oopsed and I dumped it on the floor and it's called red hot and it has pink orange and gold in there it's really gorgeous I have it um, on the brow bone and in the crease and I just basically put it over everything else that I had going on on the eye so it's everywhere and I think it turned out really pretty I also used a ColourPop gel eyeliner on the bottom and this way that it turned out so I think for summertime um, a whole bunch of these multichromes will be amazingly fun um, with multi-crumbs in general, I suggest putting them on a base. I think the most classic base is going to be a black base. And really what you can do is take like a gel, or pardon me, a cream eyeshadow and put it on um, a black cream eyeshadow and do that. Or uh, you can use any cream eyeshadow if you want it to. It, it just makes the multi show up better because with a multi-chrome you have shimmer and you have at least two colors maybe three or four and so a lot of the time the shimmer will take over and you won't see anything but shimmer you won't see the colors and so definitely putting um, a multi-chrome eyeshadow on a black base like a black cream eyeshadow base will give you much more punch to your multi-chromes but even going ahead and putting them on a powder base like this will again it'll still beef up the multi-chrome not as much as a cream eyeshadow base will but it will definitely help get it up there so that's what I would suggest for most multi-chromes and that doesn't go for holographic eyeshadows that's something that that's one of my goals for this year. I want to get some holographic eyeshadows and definitely go ahead and play with them. But, um, yeah, that's what I did for today. And the look is looking all bright and sh sunshiny. And so, yeah, I've got at least two more months of winter here. But it's fun to be able to put on a look and just feel a lot more spring or summerish than you do you know during this time of winter which is really rough um i thought i would go ahead and mention one other thing when it comes to the skin silk um i did go ahead and use the incognito uh from wet and wild as far as my concealer but i also use the beauty pie as far as a brightener underneath the eyes and i also have a bruise uh, right here, I had a, 
a dog scratch and it's pretty much healed but it's still red and so this and this are actually um, really helping out because even though I really like the finish on this one it is a little bit light and these two products are helping it um, you know giving a little bit more coverage so I wanted to let you know about that and I think that that's just about the end of the video so hopefully this time it worked and I don't need to redo it again so um, yeah I'll see you later and I hope that you have a great day